This is the police. You are under arrest. Let's go. Which one do you want? Oh. In a different version of Earth, people start making robots called simulants, which are smarter than humans. People offer to have their faces scanned and put on robots to make them look more like people. The Sims will soon be more than just workers. In 2055, a government-made simulation causes a nuclear bomb to go off in Los Angeles. The U.S. sets out on a mission to get rid of all Sims. A group of American forces shows up on the coast of New Asia while Nomad looks over the area from above. Joshua lives nearby with his pregnant wife Maya. Then they hear a noise, so Joshua puts on his robotic limbs and goes to find their Sim friends. They are guards led by Haroon, and they brought an American fighter named Drew after spotting him sneaking in. Drew is hit by a Sim to get him to talk, and the Nomad is getting closer. Haroon's group quickly gets the boats ready while Maya packs. Joshua scolds Drew for not giving him more time when he is by himself. We learn that he is also an American soldier on a covert mission. Outside, a gunfight breaks out between the American and Sim troops. Joshua grabs Drew's radio and tells the commander to stop the raid because Nirmada isn't with them. Maya hears this and is very angry that Joshua didn't really leave the army like he said he would. She points her gun at him but is stopped by troops who drag Joshua out of the house. Maya gets away and meets the other Sims on the boats, but Nomad fires a missile at them all killing them all. It's been five years, and Joshua is back in the U.S., trying to get back to normal life. For his PTSD, he takes a lot of medicine and sees a therapist every week. He works as part of a cleaning crew at Ground Zero. He and a co-worker find a robot that comes to life. This sound of it begging for mercy makes the other worker freak out because it sounds so real. But Joshua turns it off right away and tells them that they are just robots and don't have feelings. They take all the robots they find and destroy them. After that, he goes swimming. General Anrus and Colonel Howell show up and ask him to help them with a the task. They know that Nirmana is working on a super weapon that could destroy Nomad. The USA would lose the war without that ship. Only Joshua knows how the lab is set up, so he should lead a group to destroy the super weapon. At first, Joshua says no, reminding them that they killed his wife and that they wouldn't be in this position if they hadn't blown up his mission. Not long after, Howell shows him a holographic movie that proves Maya is still alive and working on the super weapon. This makes him quickly change his mind. Joshua joins Howell's team in the middle of the night, and the two of them fly to New Asia. The team lands on a field after Nomad scans the area. Joshua leads them to the lab, but when they get there, they find that a town has been built on top of the field. The troops decide to break in and start questioning the people there while holding guns to their heads. Joshua figures out that she is looking at an altar, and when he twists the totem, the lab door opens. The rest of the team goes into the lab and follows a long hallway to find a tex. They then kill all of them. Joshua checks the cams and sees that Maya should also be there. They keep going to shoot more scientists, but this time the workers lock the doors that can't be shot through. At the same time, Bradbury sees the cops coming and fires a few missiles before acting like she gives up. As soon as the police try to arrest her, Bradbury's missiles fall and kill all the Sims right away. Sadly, more police officers soon show up and start shooting at her, so she has to hide. After making it further into the lab, the team finds a room that they need to hack into in order to get to. While the others run to fight the coming guards, Shipley and Joshua stay to work on it. When the computer is done breaking the lock, the vault door opens. Joshua goes inside and sees a kid watching TV on a couch. Joshua is shocked to learn that the child is a sim. Suddenly, a scientist appears behind him and shoots him. He then lets the kid out of the building and tells her to find Nirmata. The child sees the outside world for the first time when she leaves the lab. Joshua goes after her and tries to find Maya among the scientists who are running, but can't. The rest of the team tells the plane that they lost the battle and need to leave before Nomad fires. But Howell needs to check on something first, so he leaves. Bradley tries to get back and runs as fast as she can, but she gets hit in the back. She gets on the plane before it takes off, but when she gets there, she finds that there is a bomb on her body. The bomb goes off in the middle of the sky. Just before Nomad bombs the area and knocks Joshua out, Joshua wakes up on a boat the next morning and sees the robot girl looking at him. 
The girl just throws the rock back at him when he tries to get her to leave. Then Joshua checks out the area and finds Shipley hurt. He picks him up and takes him to a house that isn't occupied to get away from the police who are searching the area. At that very moment, Howell calls Joshua's communicator, which attracts the notice of a nearby farmer sim. The colonel tells Joshua to kill the kid, and Joshua tells Howell about it. But their talk is cut off when Howell is surrounded by police. The farmer finds them out of the blue and promises to keep Alfie safe. Joshua's translator tells him about the Sims' plans, so he shoots first and kills the farmer while also telling the police where they are. To find Maya, Joshua then asks Alfie where she is. The child replies that she is in Dian Dang. At the same time, McBride and Howell work together to kill Bowie and take over the van, which they then use to look for Joshua. After some time, Shipley points a gun at Joshua and tells him he needs to go to the hospital. But Joshua tells him they're too far from an American base and offers to take Shipley to see a friend instead. Shipley's injuries are too bad, though, and he dies in the truck. Joshua sees a car coming and puts a hat over the girl's robotic head to hide it. Joshua walks up to the driver with a gun and asks for a ride to the city when the car stops. The car is stopped at a checkpoint in the evening because Joshua and Alfie's signs have been sent to the police. A police officer sees Alfie and tells her to take off her hat. Elfie uses her power to turn off the power in the area. She then uses sparks on a sign to confuse everyone and turns on the car gay, which she then drives into the city to get away from the police. Joshua tries to ask Elfie where Diane Dang is later in the city, but Elfie won't answer. The police then show up, so Joshua pulls Elfie onto the train to get away. Joshua thinks about the day Drew told him to marry Maya to get information after he went to sleep. He also gave her a wedding ring with a special tracker inside it. As the two get off the train in the evening, they see signs for them all over the city. Along with calling the cops, a person sees them and takes Alfie to a sim factory to see his friend, who turns out to be Drew. Drew changed his mind after the attack night. Joshua asks Drew to find out where Maya is by talking to Alfie. Drew tells Joshua that Maya is dead when Joshua asks him to find her ring instead. Joshua doesn't believe him. Drew tells Joshua what he found during his check. Drew can grow. Her powers aren't very strong yet, but they will get stronger over time. Elfie tells Cammy that someone is coming to get her at that moment, but Cammy checks and sees that it's just the food delivery person. The delivery guy turns out to be the other buoy after she shuts the door. A bunch of police officers then show up and help him set off a bomb inside the food box, which kills Cammy. The police come inside and try to catch him. But Joshua shows up and starts shooting them all down. But he can hear more police cars coming up behind them. He grabs Alfie and a sad Drew and runs away. After some time, Drew's computer finds the ring in Joshua's old house. When they get there, Joshua goes into the house right away and finds the ring on the wet floor. Joshua is watching a security video of the attack when Alfie comes to tell him that the troops are coming. He gets angry with her and yells at her. Joshua finally sees her as a person when Alfie starts to cry, so he hugs her and says sorry. Drew walks in to tell them of the attack, but is shot and killed. He tells Joshua that Maya is Nirmata, which is why they attacked five years ago, right before he dies. Joshua and Alfie try to run away, but they are quickly caught by some troops led by Harun, and Joshua is knocked out. Joshua dreams that night about meeting Maya at a bar and hearing the story she told him. Joshua wakes up the next morning in a ship's cell. Grun goes to see him and tells him some more things. The first Nirmata was Maya's father. When he died, she became the new one and made Elfie to stop Nomad. Grun thinks about killing Joshua, but he stops himself because of noise outside Nomad is destroying their base. Finally, Joshua gets Elfie to help him get away. Elfie jumps into the water, so the soldiers fire into the water. The boat leaves when they think Joshua is dead, but Joshua is still hiding below. When they get to the city, Joshua sneaks around and sees how well the Sims and people get along. Joshua waits for Harun to fall asleep in the evening, and then hits a button in his head to make him ready to go. Joshua tries to get away with Alfie on a boat, but just then an alarm goes off to let everyone know that the Americans have arrived. Hearing the sounds of huge tanks shooting missiles at the houses makes Elfie leave Joshua because she wants to help her people. A very simple robot is sent through the bridge by Hal. The robot bursts, killing more soldiers. Then Hal sends a second walking bomb, but Elfie stops it with her skills. Sadly, 
McBride shows up and shoots Alfie, which makes Joshua very angry, and he kills him. The bomb goes off again while Alfie is asleep, so Joshua runs with the child before the bridge is destroyed. Harun agrees to take Joshua to Senior Mata to get Alfie better. Harun tells them on the trip that Maya finished making Alfie a few days before the attack. To make her, she scanned her own egg, which means that Alfie is a copy of Joshua's dead baby. Alfie is finally taken by some monks to a special temple. Joshua asks if this is really Dian Dang. The monk says the word means heaven, which means Maya has died. When Joshua, who is very sad, walks into the temple, he sees Alfie, who has been healed, lying next to Maya's body, which is hooked up to a machine. Nirmata can't be hurt by the Sims, so Joshua has to finally disconnect her. Joshua cries and says sorry for everything. He then turns off the machine. Howell walks into the temple and starts putting Maya's mind into a chip while holding Joshua at gunpoint. Harun then shows up and shoots Howell, which makes two other guards shoot him back. When Howell goes to check on him, she finds that she has a bomb on her back, which Elfie sits off, killing her and the two soldiers. Harun then gets up and tells Joshua to kill Nomad. Joshua does this and then goes with Elfie and Maya's chip. Too bad the Americans find them right away and separate them before taking them away while Nomad blows up the area. When they get back to the LA base, Andrews tells Joshua to call Alfie because she won't give them any information. Joshua moves closer and says something to Alfie, which makes her freak out. Andrews thinks she's dead when he sees her vital signs drop on the screen. After that, Joshua takes Alfie to the burning, but Alfie turns out to be fine on the way there. The girl's magic makes the car crash and stop the road. They quickly get to the space spot where Alfie uses her magic to get past the boarding machine. The guards come on board after all the people have left, but Joshua opens the door to make a vacuum, which sends all the guards flying into the air. Joshua gives Maya's chep to Alfie and tells her to stop the attack while he sets off the bomb when he sees the missiles getting ready. The bomb goes off. As soon as the nomad starts to blow up, and the missiles strike safely. Joshua tells Elfie that he'll see her in heaven because he doesn't have any more time before he sets off the pod. Joshua then leaves the room to see what happens next. When he comes back, the Maya Sim is already working. The lovers run toward each other and kiss before the bomb goes off and kills them both. Elfie's pod lands safely on Earth, and she joins the simulants in their celebration of being free. Thank you for watching, make sure you subscribe 